you the influence of baby name predictions and baby name consultations and when you say spontaneous triplet girl pregnancy of blonde Mormon mom influencer, I say yes. This is Ashley Henson, already the mother of Sunday and Banks and soon welcoming three more girls. I I'm tingling. This is exactly my dream in The Sims. At 14 years old, I was carefully pausing The Sims at the exact moment so I could hop over to AOL, go to a baby name website, get ideas, write them down, make a list, select the best, re-enter The Sims and name the baby. And look how far I haven't come. I'm doing the exact same thing now with Ashley. What is she gonna name her spontaneous triplet girls? No clue. Sunday and Banks are a good clue that the names are gonna be trendy contemporary sweater account names. But the thing that's way more fun to think about is what names would I choose if Ashley were my sim? Her said have a really specific backstory for her that is not actually in any part of the gameplay. It's a completely fictional narrative existing only in my head as I play. For Ashley, the backstory is swans because I watched her triplet girl nursery reveal video. There seems to be a repeating swan decor theme in the room. I am not a believer that a baby named nursery is a baby named clue, but this is a fictional narrative, so it will. Three daughters, three swan adjacent names in the context of the sims, meaning I'm not choosing the really normal ones, but I'm also not gonna choose the really ridiculous or bad ones. I'm choosing the swan names that have tiptoed past the point of reality, the ones that are not totally plausible for modern day human infants, but perfect for their CGI equivalent. Baby one is Penrose. Google, what do you call a female swan? Answer, a pen. He lengthened that out past the point of normal by today's standards to Penrose. Penrose Henson, that's literally stunning, and Penrose is the name of a stunning Cornwall estate whose earliest documented resident, John de Penrose, dates back to 1281 AD. It's literally the year Braveheart takes place. This could be medieval Lady Penrose. Everything about this feels so moody and enchanting, which is exactly how this swan picture feels. Baby number two, who's next? It's Fenella. Or Fenella or Fenola. These are all just a smidge more approachable alternatives to the original Fenula. Fenula is a figure of Irish mythology in the legend The Children of Lear. TLDR, the four children of Lear turn into swans. Three sons, one daughter. Daughter's name is Fenula. I like the simplification down to Fenella for the sound and then also becomes the name of a medieval noblewoman turned assassin. She killed a Scottish king named Kenneth and I like that. I like that we're circling back to that same medieval moody folklore of this story in this picture and Lady Penrose. Baby three needs no introduction. It is Odette, like the moody folklore of a cursed young woman who is swan by day, human by night. Likely stems from German folk stories, but we all know it best as the world famous ballet, Swan Lake. I was tempted to change directions because this adaptation still comes to mind first, but this spread of sim names is too good. Penrose, Fenella, Odette. I love that we have the same repeating E sound in all three names, visually satisfying that all the names actually have two E's. Penrose in particular is unifying the sound of the other twos. You've got Pen and Fen matching up, as well as Rose to Ode. E and O are the most prominent vowels throughout, which is exactly true of the last name, Henson. The full name sounds amazing every time. Double letters, double letters. Each name is obscure with a more familiar one in its back pocket. Rose, Ella, and Etta. Do they go by Rose, Ella, and Etta? Penny, Ellie, Odie. Rosie, Nellie, Dottie. Pen, Fet, De. Someone make this in The Sims, please, because I know this is not what Ashley's gonna use.